Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dara Addison and my company's name is Torpedo Pot. We make self-growing planters. That knob you see on that planter, you turn it. You put your seeds in, you put your plants in, you turn that knob and you walk away. I've only supplemented like I do once every week or once every two weeks for these plants as they need it. And I go about my business. Once you get the, um, the planters are designed to grow fungus. They're not designed to grow food, they're designed to grow fungus. Why? Because fungus is what gives the expression to your food. So all you do is put your seeds in, you put your plants in, you turn that knob, it waters your plants for you. You never have to water your plants again. So today what I'm doing is that I have some oregano, I have some basil, I have some parsley, and it's standard seeds I got from the store to show you what you can do. Because some of those who are this casual growers, you want to have the seeds just close by, you know? So I got to make sure I label each one of these planters to make sure I remember what seeds are inside of them. So what I'm going to do is that to show you how easy it is to plant your seeds, I'm just going to take a minute and put some, let's say we put basil in here, oregano, let's try this for oregano, parsley, uh, let's do some parsley in here, and let's do some thyme in here. So with torpedo pots, you don't have to work hard. This is the extent of my growing season. Now, these are planters. I put this uh, lettuce in uh, earlier, about maybe about three weeks ago, and I've harvested off of it. I cut it down. It's continually growing back. Same thing with this lettuce. I pull the leaves off and I eat that. And then we have the, uh, what is it, celery, right? And both of these planters and some lettuce right here that we've cut down and eaten off of it. So, torpedo pot continually grows your food. So once I put food in this planter and that food grows for that particular season and it loves that season, it's going to continue to grow throughout its life cycle. And that's what you want. You want beautiful food that grows throughout its life cycle. Torpedo pot does that. Torpedo pot grows your food for you. You don't have to grow your food anymore. And I want to show you the beauty that you're getting from this food. You never water. You never feed your plants again in your life. And you're guaranteed to have beauty with your plants like you've never seen before. And the texture and the flavor is just so amazing. It's so full body. No chemicals. So the cells have enough nutrition built up inside of it to give you a burst of energy. So Peter Pot does that. A burst of nutrition. So Peter Pot does that. Good. Mm. Every cell is bursting. Forgive me. Every cell is bursting with pharmacological properties. Torpedo pot grows your food for you. You don't have to grow your food anymore. You simply put your seeds or your plants in this planter and it grows it for you. You don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's delicious. Mm. All right. Let's take a look at the basil seeds. Yeah, Chinese are. Wow, guys, they're so tiny. Look at that. Now, I think I paid um, 25 cents for these seeds. Let's just see what they look like, okay? Look how tiny they are. They're so tiny, aren't they? Yes, they are. Little tiny basil. There's different types of basil. This one is the, um, it says it's for containers. But just to say the um, type of basil it is. They got red basil, you got big leaf basil. Oh, Genovese, Genovese basil. That's what this is, Genovese. And this is what it looks like. So, this is how we're gonna plant it, okay? We've got about 
Put about 70 seeds. Put my hole in. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop some seeds in there. I'm not going to get rid of the rest of the seeds I have in here. No, not at all. I'm just going to put my hole in there, drop my seeds in, and let the torpedo pod do the rest. I just remember that they're there. All right, we just planted the basil. I'm gonna create a marker for this so I won't forget it. And so I'll come back and put a little flack on top of it. Now let's try the oregano. Once I see the seeds for the basil start to come up, I'll know where I planted them at. And then that's when I start fitting them out. I like to, if I'm gonna transplant them, I pull out the strongest plants first. If I'm not gonna do that, then I'll pull out the weaker plants and choose what I wanna do with them. Now let's try this oregano. Same concept, okay? We're gonna open this up. And this is oregano. Again, they don't say what species or, or I mean, what, uh, what type of oregano that it is. So, Let's take a look at these seeds. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this oregano. Look at those seeds, isn't that amazing? Like Mr. Addison, are you out of your mind? Yeah, man, I love stuff like that, dude. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the oregano, all these little tiny seeds. Now, instead of punching a hole because you got so many seeds in here, I'm gonna pull away the topsoil, close to the feeding stick, and I'm gonna disperse the seeds on both halves of the pot. So they'll come up like a grass. And I can determine if I want to keep them or not. And I'll just come over. So we know we have oregano and I'll put the tag in this planet. You see how easy it is to grow food in your torpedo pot? No touching the ground, no turning things over. These are self-growing planters and they grow your food for you. <coughs> you don't have to do anything at all. <coughs> Put your seeds in that planter and let it do its job. Torpedo pot has coined it perfectly. You never water, you never feed, you only supplement. And it grows the microbes in the soil which then feeds your plants. And your plants are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Like nothing we've ever seen before. No imperfections on any of these leaves. They're all perfect. Torpedo pots are into something. All right, let's try this parsley. I think the parsley seeds may be a little bit bigger. Let's give that a try, okay? So this pack only cost me 25 cents. And look at all the seeds I have. And so in a torpedo pot, if your seeds have the potential of growing, it will grow. Look at this parsley. Isn't that amazing? I love parsley. Yeah, we normally do a 24-inch uh, planter and pure parsley. And it's, it's absolutely beautiful. So same thing as before. I'm just going to create a little divot around where the feeding stick is. And I'm going to dump my seeds there. And this is covering back over again. And I'll just harvest the ones that uh, come up. They'll come up at different times. Now, I'm not saying that all of you should use my methodology. Some of them, you want to coordinate and plant your seeds a certain distance apart. Please go right ahead and do that. But see, what makes me happy more than anything else is that this torpedo pot is going to grow my food. So I know food is going to grow, and if food is going to grow, well, then I can pick and choose what I want. The objective is not only to have the best looking food in the world, but you want to be able to have the most nutritious food in the world. And the torpedo pot makes that happen. Again, all you do is put your seeds in the planter, put your plants in the planter, and it grows your food for you. You don't have to worry about growing your food anymore. Now, think about it. Those who are using the ground right now, if you just do what I just did, moved it over, like on your lawn, put your seeds down, do you think it'll grow? Even if you have an, a, a land that's irrigated, you throw the seeds down. Let me tell you something. Most farmers who throw down their seeds 
a lot of the seeds seldom ever germinate. This is a great way of determining the germination potential of your seeds. If they can grow into a torpedo pot, you're guaranteed. But if they cannot grow into a torpedo pot, there's something wrong with those seeds. Torpedo pots is a self-growing planter system that grows your food for you. All you do is put your plants and your seeds in this planter, and you'll have food for the rest of your life. Follow our direction. So let's just find. <coughs> and <coughs> I'm going to stick this in here. Now, we've already got the celery in this planter. So I have to tell you, um, wow, these plants are doing great. I love them. Soil's perfect. They seem to be hydrated pretty well. This is great. I can feel the coolness underneath the soil with my finger. How cool it is. Let's you know fresh water is available through that root system. That's beautiful. So we have a, um, a lettuce in here and then we have a celery in here. Now what I want to do is pull a dirt out of one so I can get some seeds in it without disturbing the other. Oh, this is beautiful. Man, it's well watered too, guys. It's really great. And it reflects on the leaves, okay? You don't see any, you know, most insects um, are devouring plants on their way out. And when you give your plants fertilizer, it, it can confuse a lot of species. They don't know if what they're eating is dead or not. Torpedo pot allows you to have life in your planter so that the species knows that some of the acidic aspects of that plant are the defense properties of that plant is not neutralized and they don't attack it as readily as readily don't get me wrong we have a worm that i think is unique to this area for our swiss chard that just our swiss chard grows so people will grow 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 and the worms will come and eat it and so i've got to find something to put on the soil i'll see about a little bit of salt to change the ph of the soil um but i'll see what happens i don't want to impact the plants the swiss chard but i want to read up on it a little bit more but one thing i don't want you to use is synthetic stuff are going down some organic crossroads and what grows your plants remember torpedo pot grows your plants for you you'll never ever have to grow another plant again in your life but it does that by building the fungal environment remember it's the fungus that grows your plants not you me or something grown in a factory the natural ingredients in that soil is what you bring out set free from all the other distractions around it so its main job is to focus on growing your food. This is a lot I'm putting in here. Okay, we just planted seeds. And I think we did a great job. Make sure we got them all right here. Good, it looks good, it looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I hope I did it right. I hope we screwed up. <laughs> okay. So parsley, thyme, basil, and oregano. And we're done, man. And so I expect these, I don't know what the germination is. Let's take a look at the germination rate and all of this stuff for it. So we we'll know what we're talking about. Um, days to mature for the uh, Parsley, 8 to 20. For the basil, 5 to 10. For the, what is this? Thyme, 8 to 10 days to germinate. So they're all about 8 to 10 days to germinate. And uh, they look pretty good. So we'll see how they come out. I think one is 21 to 28 days to germinate. And I think that's the parsley. Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, thyme. So it's 21 to 28 days to germinate. It's amazing. Oh, that's going to take a long time. All right, so I'm going to put some um, signs inside of here to let me know what I'm doing, um, where I planted the seeds at, because it's easy to forget. I mean, I may look at this being bare, and I'm just like so into growing stuff, I'll just throw things in that planter just to make it work out, you know, and I'll forget what I put in there. So it's very important to put your signs up where you need to signify where your, your food is growing. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. We're using a small hallway, a walkway to grow 
a lot of food. Isn't that amazing? Lettuce and I guess um, celery and we've had these filled up with lettuce and so many other plants down here. Um, we're changing the pots out because we can grow food anyway, anywhere. We have no problem with food. Dow Radisson, torpedopots.com. Talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.